Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin on my new Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And I'm discovering a bunch of new things. Primarily that screen casting is now something you can do without being root does not require being root and the world rejoices that means you can make videos like this using uh, any software you like which I happen to currently be using ArtRage because I can do landscape mode choose uh, purple make my daughter happy this is art rage which I just installed today's my first day with it and uh, I got it because sketchbook that I've been on since it came out on the iOS platform just doesn't support landscape mo mode on mobile so landscape and this looks like it's going to be a, a rather viable platform now for doing these types of screencasts uh, that I like to do that are kind of like the uh, the Khan Academy writing style it's been a while since I've done them and uh, I explored a whole bunch of the software that's out there for that uh, everything from uh, whiteboard casting, which was really great, but uh, they just didn't keep up. It doesn't have that professional look and feel that I sort of came to expect from, uh, from software these days. And I switched to Lenzu, but Lenzu requires a subscription. And after the second or third month that rolled by where I was paying, I don't know, a few bucks a month to be on Lenzu without using it, I was unhappy that I was spending money to subscribe to something that I don't necessarily use every month. This is an app. This is like built-in functionality. And then, uh, you know, finally I uh, tried... Uh, what is that, teach anything? No, it's explain anything, which just was ported to uh, the Android uh, phone platform, which is great, and I thought that was gonna be my answer, but it is too heavyweight and overkill. So, I decided that was too much. I couldn't even get... Oh, that's not red. Hey, easy undo. Another thing Sketchbook Pro doesn't do that nicely. So, explain anything got ruled out because I couldn't get the exact video aspect ratio. I was getting black bands and it wasn't filling the screen. And, you know, I could have probably figured it out and I still might. I did not get a refund, so that might be in my future. Lenzu, I ruled out because of the money. And whiteboard cast, I'm going to give it another try. It's for like the ultimate in simplicity for this type of thing. But given that I can now seemingly, you know, screencast from any software, which is totally amazing, I am going to just focus on uh, learning a really great art package, this, uh, this art rage. I like that. And... Uh, the screen capture software, I'll name it again in some later video, but it gives me this little heads up display right here on the phone. This is just totally amazing. Uh, I increasingly get the feeling that the Note 5, after half a decade of believing that iPhone inherited the spirit of the Amiga 
considering the amount of times I've uh, crashed my phone in trying to get this little screencast to work and how cool it is when it ultimately does, I'm thinking that the spirit of the Amiga is being more or less recaptured for me in the Note 5. I believe even more so than I ever had it on the iPhone, although it certainly felt that way when I was on the iPhone. I think it just has to do with, you know, highly proprietary and controlled gets you really killer performance and a tightly integrated, uh, you know, package where everything works and it's great responsiveness, but at the price of various forms of multitasking and freedoms on your phone and the ability to do some really cool stuff. I, I didn't even have to root my Android phone to do this. This is all with just regular software available from the Google Play Store. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon and hope to see you again in videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe.